Hi, my name is Song. I'm an application engineer here at Simon. Today's tutorial is to get started on how to use PLCS Modbus RTU and TCP communication. And let us begin with Modbus RTU RS232 which I've chosen the SP02 ERS the serial module to be the Modbus RTU master and I'm going to configure uh, the master module first so I'm opening a Sycon software which is the version 6 uh, 6.10 it is available from our website go to support tab software and here's the latest icon software available for installment and I'm opening Modbus RT Master program which you can also download from our home page go to support project examples go to PLC tab and there is there is your um, there is a sample project available and there's also another sample which I'm going to use after this video to explain the rest of the process so now I have the Modbus RT master with RS232 here you have the necessary scan program as shown here and also the the special function program which is the Modbus RTU master so let us say if you begin if you start from scratch then you open a project you select the CPU type as CM3 PLCS and then you create you create a register the scan program you enter the letter program and then and then you have to register the the Modbus R2 master program special program so since my um, my my R2 master is the serial module which is located right next to CPU it's going to be the local base because the CM3 uh, CM3 PLC doesn't have any expansion uh, unlike the CM1 series so it is local base and slot and slot number is 1 because it's next to slot number 0 and to 1 the CPU is the slot uh, slot number 0 and I'm going to use the channel 1 the RS232 and the result uh, this means the the communication result by auto automatic send automatic sending and receiving is going to be stored at the M100 address and I have added the two communication frames you click add and this window will pop up and the notice that the destination station number is the slave address which will configure uh, when we when we configure the mod bus slave now I will explain this later the function uh, we have six functions available but this one, the first one, the read call status is to read the bit address. So I've chosen uh, the read call status and the point number, uh, which I will explain later also on Modbus slave configuration. This, this will this will link 
the Simon PLC address and the Modicon address, and which will get a, a, a full full descriptions on the meaning of point number in later in Modbus slave setting and the date data count 16 I put 16 which means I'm going to read 16 bit address from the slave device and the result I'm going to save it M00 the communication the received data from the slave will be stored in device and do not transmit automatically our, the, the default def, uh, the default setting for the Modbus R2 master is to send send and receive communication frames automatically but if you intend if you use it on manual mode instead of automatic mode which is the default then when you click this then it will be will be operated by on manual and you have to you have to use the send instruction in order to send and receive the communication frame but in this in this uh, tutorial we will use only the automatic sending and receiving mode so i've registered the the read call status which will read the m the M device address from this my uh, from the Modbus slave, and I've also added the read holding register, which is to read the word address and the point number. Same here. I will explain it when it comes to Modbus slave setting. The data count I put 30, which means I'm going to read 30 word address. And I'm going to save the data at D0, D00. And I've saved it. So now I have the scan program and I have the Modbus RTU, uh, RTU master program. I will go to online. I haven't made the connection with USB, so I will make, I will plug in the USB. takes about two or three seconds until it is recognized by P PC. Connection setup, USB timeout two second. And it is connected and I'm going to download the program. and it is downloaded and now I have the scan program ready I have the Modbus RTU master program ready now you want to configure the, the serial module which is the the master communication parameter so I'm using the channel 1 uh, which local base slot 1 channel 1 communication is null and it is Modbus master program. My serial module is my Modbus master. And the baud rate, I'm going to leave it as it is, as the default settings. And I'm going to write it so now I have the Modbus RTU master is ready.
and I'm going to open up another Sycon software which is the Malvis RTU slave So this is my Modbus RTU master and this is my mod is going to be my Modbus RTU slave for RS232. So I have the scan program ready you can which is also available from the website here slave and master You go you go to PLC parameter under parameter tab and then you go to Modbus tab and notice that this parameter is used when the CM3 CPU which is mine uh, which is this the CPU is used as Modbus slave and notice that the call status I'm linking up the M device Simon PLC address to Modicon's, Modicon's uh, call status. So the start address is 1, which is if I go to the Modbus RTU master program and the point number here, this number was this. and also this number here the point number is my holding register D and starting begins with 1 and also the, the station number um, the my, my Modbus slave I'm going to assign the station number as 1 which this number will is already used here the destination station number and the destination station number so when I have this ready I click OK and then I go online I make connection with my Modbus slave This is Modbus Master and this Modbus Slave. I'm going to download. And let us go ahead and check how Modbus master and slave are communicating so according to the my communication frame set up in the RTU master I'm going to read 16 bit from M0 so here in the M from from M0 to M M05 are blinking by 2 second which you can see here and from the slave device my master device
is also reading the same thing. And just to make sure, if I make the edi addition here, And now you can see it is communicating. And also I'm reading 30 data count from D device. So I go to D device and from 0 D0 to D10, D20 and D30 I have those data and if I go to my master memory I go to D device and because I have this I have configured to read 30 data count it's reading from D0 to D10 to D20 but let's say so it is not reading here D30 but if I increase the data count is 40 and then I make the online edit then you can see it is reading it's reading the 40 uh, word data here okay so that was Malbus RS232 And the wire for the RS-232 is as shown here. My TX goes to the second pin and my RX goes to the third pin here. And my ground below goes to the, my fifth pin. So the actual wiring would be like this. The serial module RS-232 to the my CPU uh, over here. 